Now we're going to be doing some cardio and endurance exercises to help get that heart pumping to build endurance on and off the golf course. So we're going to be using the Cardio Golf Shorty Club and Cardio Golf Slope, the Golf Gym Power Swing Trainer, and also the Golf Gym Power Ball. All these items are available at CardioGolf.com. If you don't have equipment, then you're just going to follow along and do the movements as if you had equipment in your hand. Tuck your shorty club out of the way just so that you don't step on it. And you want to have room on either side of your slope. If you don't have a slope, then you're just doing all these exercises on the flat surface. We're doing each exercise for 30 seconds. I've got the timer right here. And we're starting with a little step up and down. So as you do this, try to make sure your feet and your knees stay under your hips like this. You don't want to have your feet going out like this. You want to be nice and tight. And then land lightly. And we're doing this for 30 seconds. If you want to pick up the pace and go a little bit faster, you can. Great, that's time. All right, from here, we're going to start on one side of the slope. And you're gonna bend your knees into a little bit of a squat. And then from here, you're stepping over to the other side and then going to repeat side to side like this. And we're doing this for 30 seconds. So keep your core nice and tight. Try to move quickly. Keep it low impact like this or add the hop if you want to. Nice and controlled, go at your own pace. Great job, step off, take a deep breath. All right, for our next exercise, you're standing on the side of the slope and we're doing a little side jog, so you go in and out, in and out like this. So we're going to do 15 seconds on one side and then repeat that same motion going on the other side. So try to push off, use the slope as a sounding pad to really get some power in your legs. And here we go, this side for 15 seconds. Use your arms, pump, and that'll get your heart rate going a little bit more. And then you're stepping over to the other side and continuing this motion. Great job, guys. Take a break, and we'll go on to the next exercise. All right, the next exercise, you wanna stand on top of your slope, and what I love about the slope, it's curved, so you really have to make sure you engage the outsides of your muscles like this. Bend your knees, pretend you're holding some ski poles, and we're doing some cross-country skiing. So as you squat down, you use your poles to push off of, and then you pop back up, and then you push down again. And here we go for 30 seconds, cross-country skiing. So breathe as you do this. Really use your arms. Feel how you would push and be moving forward as you squat and propel yourself. Try to keep your core nice and tight. Great, step off carefully and rest. Go back to the side of your slope. You're going to start on this side and then you're going to swing your arms and step to the other side and then repeat side to side like this. So you wanna swing your arms and carefully step in the middle of your slope and here we go for 30 seconds. Great job. Carefully step off your slope, rest, and we'll go to the next exercise. 
This time, step out on your slope. We're going to do a little reverse lunge with a little bit of a hop if you can. The low impact would just be the reverse lunge. Use your arms, swing them, chest height to engage your core. Or if you want to add the hop, it would look like this. Here we go for 30 seconds, the reverse lunge. Carefully watch where you step. If you have to go to the low impact, do the low impact. But if you can add the hop, it gets that heart rate going. Great, step off. We'll go to the next exercise. This exercise, we're doing a modified jack. So you can just tap your feet like this or do the full blown jack on this side. And then we'll go and do the jack on this side. So here we go. Here we go, 15 seconds on this side. The modification is right here. All right, and then go to this other side and keep it going all the way to the end of our interval. Good job. These exercises should elevate your heart rate. And when you elevate your heart rate and get it into that fat burning zone, you're gonna burn calories and increase your endurance on and off the golf course. From here, straddle your slope. The modification is just a nice little step tap like this, getting down low, trying to keep your core nice and tight. And then if you can, you wanna go up, up, down, down, and add a little hop or a jog to it. Great job, one more exercise to go. For this exercise, you're going to stand on the side of the slope. You're gonna do a little side donkey kick, switch, and then do the donkey kick on the other side. So depending on your fitness level, your flexibility, you can really get down low and kick, or you can kind of just tap your foot like this. And here we go, and here we go for 30 seconds. This requires a lot of balance, so if you have to, go slow and controlled, and then when you get better at it, you can go faster. That exercise is really challenging, but it's great to open up your hips, gets the heart rate going, a lot of really good things happening for you. All right, take a breather. Get a sip of water and then come back. We're going to when we come back, we're gonna be doing some resistance training to help build strength. All right, now stand on the side of your slope like this and then engage your core, keep your belly pulled in towards your spine, roll your shoulders back and down from your ears and you're on that upslope so your shoulders are parallel to your slope line. And then we're just doing some shoulder and hip wraps right here. So this is a great exercise to focus on keeping the head nice and steady. So you want to avoid doing this action right here. So you can see I'm just rotating my shoulders around my spine. And when I swing my arms, you can see as I turn my back in each direction, my hips are going with it. So we're just kind of wrapping our arms around our hips and then go to the other side, get into that side slope, and then do that same exercise over here. Avoid this right here where you're doing a lot of movement. You want to turn your shoulders and your hips around your spine. This should feel good. It shouldn't hurt at all. So eight to 10 repetitions on each side. We're going to continue with that. This time, 
you're going to pick up your Golf Gym Power Ball. This weighs eight pounds, so it's a good medium size weight. If you don't have the equipment, you just pretend like you're holding the Power Ball. Get into that upslope. This time, bend your elbows a bit right here. Keep your core nice and tight. And you're doing that same motion, but this time it's more controlled. You're not swinging or flopping your arms. You're just really trying to keep the ball in front of your chest and really turn your shoulders and your hips around your spine. Eight to 10 on one side and then go ahead and do that same rotation on the down slope. Great job. Hold on to the ball with your outside arm. You're on that upslope position right here. And now use the weight of the power ball to really lean over and then pull yourself up. So you're fighting the resistance, and this is really working the obliques, hips, your shoulders. Great, then repeat on the other side. Don't fight gravity, let the ball take you over as far as you can, and then pull up. This is a nice oblique exercise. Great job. All right, from here, on one side of the slope, with your heels elevated, and your power ball in front of you with your elbows close together. So if you're strong, you can extend your arms as we do this squat. If you need a little help, you can bend your elbows. You still have resistance, but bringing your elbows in gives you a little bit more control over the ball. All right, from here, and then you wanna squat down and come back up. So you're trying to go through a full squat, really getting those hips down low and then powering up. Great job. All right, if you're doing okay, let's keep it going. You're standing on top of the slope. Once again, the slope is curved, so you wanna keep your inside ankle bones high. You wanna keep the weight on the outsides of your legs. Don't let your knees collapse inward. So really keep a nice solid base. And then you're taking this power ball around your spine like this. So behind your head, really going through full range with your thoracic spine. Eight this direction. Great, and then repeat and go the other way. If you don't have a power ball, you just mimic this motion. Great job, guys. All right, from here, you're going back to the side slope. This time, we're going to do a twist, and we're just gonna keep the twist going with a little bit more pace. The little bit more pace. Really hit those obliques. Keep your head centered. Go to this side, eight to 10 repetitions. Great job. All right, from here, stand behind your slope. You're going to lunge with one foot forward and then rotate around that front leg and then pop back up and repeat on the other side. So when you land, make sure your toe, your heel, your knee are in line with your spine and then rotate, push off. So you don't wanna be out of control. You don't want your foot to be flared out. Here we go, eight on each side.
Great job, guys. Nice work with those core specific exercises. So take a break, get a sip of water and grab your shorty club and we're gonna swing it out for the rest of this workout. Mm -hmm. 